I'm Liz and this is Dennis and this is our tiny home on wheels. Since 2017 we have lived and traveled full time in our RV sharing all of our adventures on our channel Eat CRV. We first got started in a massive fifth wheel toy hauler and after just two years on the road we realized less is more so we downsized and renovated a Fleetwood Pulse. Now we've gone even smaller and we've moved into a renovated classy RV. Today we're going to be giving you a full tour and we're going to be sharing some amazing giveaway details with our partner Omaze but more to come on that later. Let's check it out. Gordita, aka Dita, is a 2019 Coachman Freelander 21 QB on the Chevy Express 4500 chassis. She's almost 11 foot tall, eight and a half foot wide, and 24 foot in length. She's powered by a six liter V8 gasoline motor, which makes 329 horsepower and 323 foot pounds of torque. In other words, she big, but she can move. Front entry of our home is one of my favorite spots. I feel like we've transformed it into this really cozy little vibe. It's where you'll find our shoe storage right at the front entrance. It's also where we have a key holder, our fruit basket. We've added some plants to add some greenery. And we have our controls, including our lights, our awning. And we also have our solar charge controller. Dennis recently changed out the front window and the door to have a shade included. So it can be completely black out or it'll let light in during the day. And this has been so nice. Love this shade. One of the things you'll notice about our RV is there is no slide, yet it still feels super spacious. We specifically went with an RV that didn't have a slide because it's just one less thing that can break over time. It's also less hassle and setup for us every time we want to move. The couch area is multifunctional. The previous owners did a fantastic job renovating this. It used to be one of those terrible U-shaped dinettes. They ripped it out and they had their cousin custom build this couch, day bed, workspace, storage area. It's underneath the couch you can lift this up and there's loads of storage. It's where we keep our cat food, any extra drinks and beverages, food, pantry items, all of that's down there. It's also where our 2500 watt inverter is. We do want to do an upgrade to our electrical and off-grid system in the future, changing out our batteries and upgrading the inverter to a inverter charger, but that's going to happen in the future, hopefully when we're home next summer. And then you can pull up the desk super easily and it becomes a convertible workspace if you need extra pressure up space for your kitchen or if you just need to do some work. Then it's also added a lagoon swivel table which is so nice to have a side table over here that can be like move in any position. It can be removed if we need. I claimed this side of the couch and I'm notorious for spilling drinks so I need a side table. The bottom part of the couch has a lever system so you can pull out the entire section here and there's cushion that you just add and this becomes a day bed for guests or if we just wanted to like put our TV here and chill and watch TV we would have like a full almost a full queen bed here to relax on we don't normally keep it in day bed mode we end up just kind of keeping it like as an L-shaped couch but it's really nice that it converts like that Previous owners were kind enough to leave us some of their decor. We really loved how they had it styled when we purchased it. We liked that they had renovated it because it made it just more functional, but also super cute. They left us this custom macrame piece and they also left us the bookshelves. We have uh, some more book storage down below in the couch area. One of the things we did change is the blinds. They were missing one of the blinds in the back bedroom and so we wanted it to be co cohesive throughout. We also like it to be super blackout in here. So we found these from RV Blinds. They have a day shade option which lets light filter in. You can also completely black out or you can let the light pour in. Above the couch is our pantry. This is a massive cabinet. It's deceivingly large. So we ended up buying bins for all of our pantry stuff. So we have like, this is all of our coffee stuff and we put labels on all of them. We have our oils, our vitamins, snacks. We honestly have more space than we expect it. If you dream of life on the road but don't have a van or RV for exploring, I'm excited to announce that we have partnered with Omaze to offer you the chance to win a custom Mercedes Sprinter van with up to $85,000 in eco-friendly customizations, all while supporting a great cause, the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. 
If you aren't familiar with Omaze, they are an amazing company that partners with content creators like us to help raise money for not-profit charities, giving away once-in-a-lifetime prizes like this custom Sprinter van. The van can be completely customized to your needs, including a full kitchen, bathroom, fixed bed, even a TV. And it's going to be completed by the experienced and licensed builders Vansmith out of Colorado. We love that Vansmith offers a green package which uses more environmentally friendly products in the build, including bamboo cabinetry, wool insulation, and beetle kill pine, while also offsetting further carbon emissions from the build. We highly recommend including solar panels and inverter in your build so you can boondock in beautiful and remote places across the country. To enter for a chance to win, visit omaze.com forward slash ECRV. Even if you don't win, all of the donations go to supporting the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, which helps give kids with cancer around the world a fighting chance. The sweepstakes closes on January 27th, 2023 at 1159 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So this is your last chance to enter before this amazing experience goes away. Go to omaze.com forward slash ECRV right now to enter for your chance to win. You do not want to miss this opportunity. We were really nervous about the kitchen area. It is so much smaller than our other RVs, but it's so much more functional than we could have ever imagined. The previous owners did a fantastic job renovating this area. They replaced the original countertops with butcher block. Dennis re-sanded and resealed them so they kind of have like a fresh, beautiful new glow. They included this leaf that can cover the sink or the stove top. So it gives you some extra counter space as you're working. They also replaced the stock leaf that pulls up on the side and they made it that same cohesive butcher block that matches throughout and much larger. We changed out the sink faucet. We really like having the hose that pulls out so you can rinse the sink. And we added an in-counter soap dispenser, so it's one less thing on the countertop to have to put away when we're moving. We changed out the backsplash in the kitchen. They had a really fun subway tile that used to be white, but over the years it just kind of started to yellow. So we found this fantastic peel and stick tile on Amazon, and I love how it turned out. It has like a matte finish to it. It really looks and feels like tile. It was a pain in the took us to install. Poor Dennis had to work for hours, but it's holding up really well and it looks fantastic. There's not a ton of kitchen cabinet space, but what we do have is actually pretty sufficient. We have all of our coffee mugs up here. We have a little wine holder, some of our extra cups, plates, Tupperware, and bowls, as well as a paper towel holder. And then down below, we have our silverware, we have our cutting boards, all of this like miscellaneous salad spinner. We have a small pan, some of our miscellaneous tools. Love that we have a gas propane stove because now we can cook or use this off grid without having to pull from our electric or our batteries. We went from two burner hob to three burner. We added a magnetic knife strip and we have a spot back here for our oils and for some of our like everyday use utensils. And then of course, a microwave. We keep our trash can and drinking water tucked behind the curtain to keep our living space clutter free. We have a separate fridge free it's the same as our last class CRV. It's super spacious. You can fit tons in there. Ours is not organized or stocked well right now, but it works. To the bedroom. The closet is super spacious. We kind of have like a his and her side, and then we have loads of storage down below. And then there's two drawers just below that. One is our spice rack, and the other is just kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. And you have to have one of those. You gotta have a junk drawer. You gotta have a junk drawer. One thing we didn't realize we'd love so much about this RV is the bed. It's a queen, a queen. There's so much space in this bed. They changed it out for a custom Serta mattress as well, which is really comfortable. We have all of our clothes storage in the bins up above the bed. We did change out the wallpaper in the bedroom and we love how it turned out. They included a really fun little macrame chandelier and it just, I don't know, has all the like boho chic Cold tropical chandelier. vibes. Dennis did install a Sirocco fan to help keep us cool in the warm evenings if we're off boondocking or just need some extra circulation going on. You'll notice our fairy lights and eucalyptus really sets the mood. That was inspiration from the previous owners. They had that on theirs. I also love that we have picture windows on both sides. We've been camping in some really beautiful places and there's nothing like opening up the window and seeing like a gorgeous vista. Our bathroom's tiny, but she's got everything you need. 
We changed out the toilet for a composting toilet. This one's Airhead. It's our second Airhead composter toilet and we absolutely love it. We will never go to a traditional RV toilet in any RV. We changed out the wallpaper in here. We carried it onto the back wall as well. I really like this wallpaper. We found it on Etsy and I just feel like it's a really fun modern vibe. We unfortunately had to change out the bathroom mirror. We loved what they had, but it broke when we took it off the wall. So we ended up finding this one from Target, which is still super cute. And I think it ties into the butcher block countertops that they installed really well. We replaced the sink and the faucet in here as well to be stainless steel. It looks so much better. Dennis again refinished the countertops and just kind of brought new life to them. Turned out beautifully. In the corner of the bathroom we have a small cabinet for some toiletries. We found these great tension rods on Amazon that help keep everything from falling. We were having that problem with this one in particular every time we moved. You'd open it up and it would just be like an avalanche of stuff. We also have storage underneath the sink here. We do keep our the litter box in the shower as well as our hamper. It's not the prettiest and we do have to move it every time we shower, but it works and it keeps our main area super clean and clutter free. Then Dennis found a really great organizer on Amazon that keeps everything off the floor and has all of our shower gear all in one area. We also changed out the vents. There's three, one in the over cab area above our bed and in the bathroom and we replaced them with actual fans. So now there's a motor and we can get some airflow going before they were just the little turn knobs and vents to let air in or out. Much, much better. Originally, the overcab area had a bed, so if you're having guests or brought kids along with you, you had a space for them. We're not expecting that, and we would rather have the storage area. But we didn't want to have just like this big open space where things could kind of shift as we were moving, so we had our friend Mike build us custom cabinets, little cubbies for us to put our things, and it turned out fabulously so much better than we could have ever imagined we don't even have straps or anything on these and we really don't deal with stuff falling out it's where we store our extra cushions for the couch it's where we keep our tv because we do have different spots throughout the rv we can kind of put the tv for our viewing enjoyment we have our instapot and our blender and food processor up here we have extra bedding our helmets we have like a little charging station for electronics since we do rv with two cats one of the really important parts of the build out in the over cab area was to create a catio, cat patio. <laughs> we wanted our cats to have like their own special space and it's really important for cats to have like high areas to explore. There's a window in the driver's side of the cab area so we dedicated that space to them. We got them a little cat cave that raises them up so they're right at the window level and can look outside. Oliver loves to stay up there when we're driving. That's become his little safe haven. We also keep their cat food and the cat water up there and they love that space. And I really love at the end of the day if we don't want to see the cab area Area, we can completely close it off using the curtains and it makes us just feel like a little condo on wheels. On the driver's side, you got a little small storage bay where we're keeping two of the four Trojan deep cycle batteries. Give us around 450 usable amp hours while we're camping off grid. And we keep those charged with 400 watts of Renogy solar panels up on the roof. So the next bay down actually hides our generator. It is a gasoline powered Cummins Onan QG4000. It gets its fuel from the chassis gas tank. And because of that, the chassis gas tank is oversized. It can hold up to 55 gallons. So we get crazy long distances out of a full tank. We hardly ever run it, but the generator is nice to have just in case we run into a couple of days where we get zero sun. That way if we need to charge up the batteries or run the microwave or a high wattage item inside, we have the power. Moving down the side, you'll see the usual RV suspects, the hot water heater and the furnace. They're both propane powered. There's no electrical side to this water heater. It's just propane only. We only turn the hot water heater on whenever we absolutely want hot water anyway. We don't keep it running, so that's perfect. This vent is an addition I've made. This is the exhaust vent for our composter toilet. Back here in the extreme rear of the driver's side is the usual service area like every other RV. Black and gray tanks are mounted behind the wall here. We've got 22 for black and 28 for gray. We don't make black water anymore because we've added the composter toilet, but I have added a Valterra twist on blade valve, which allows us to combine the water from the gray into the black tank and extend our stays. So essentially we have 50 gallons worth of gray water holding capacity before we'd have to pull out of a BLM spot and find a place to dump. Also back here, you'll find the gasoline fill up for the chassis. 
the TV connection, as well as the city water connection and the fresh water tank fill. We can hold 50 gallons worth of fresh water, which is a huge upgrade. Around the back of Dita, we have our 30 amp power cord connection, an RV style bumper, which gives us stinky slinky storage. And because the Chevy Express can tow up to 5,000 pounds, she's equipped with a 500 pound vertical tongue weight tow hitch, which is awesome because that's exactly how we carry our KTM 390 Adventure with the Moto Tow clicked in to the hitch receiver. I love the Moto Tow. We've had this one for about four years and it's performed beautifully. We beat the heck out of it all up and down Mexico and throughout the United States and we've never had a problem. It's super easy to use. You just click the ramp in, back the bike down and you're off. If you're interested in carrying your own two wheel adventure vehicle this way, I'll have a link in the description below. Oh, I almost forgot. We also have a roof access ladder off the back of Dita, which will take you up to the brand new Flex Armor roof we had installed. That was the first mod we did to Dita when we took ownership of her. If you don't know about Flex Armor, we have another video that highlights the whole process of Dita's installation. When they sprayed on the roof, they also added embedded mounts for the solar panels and the Starlink mount. This giant door leads you to another universe of storage. So the storage area is directly beneath the corner bed. So it's massive. There's a huge platform plus a bunch of like little cubbies wrapping around the platform for stuff. Pretty disheveled right now because we're still getting organized, but it holds it all. This is supposed to be an optional outdoor entertainment center, but Dita's previous owners had a succulent wall similar to this and we loved it. So we had to recreate it. Thank you, Dana. And she did it with plastic succulents instead of real ones. That way we don't get hassled when we're crossing the border because of having live plants. And on top of that, we're super lazy and we would kill them if they were real. So this is way better. And beneath that, you'll find the propane fill bay. It holds 16 gallons or 66 pounds of propane. Other feature we loved probably the most about Dita, it might've been the reason we decided to pull the trigger on buying this RV in the first place were the horns. We've had them off for a few weeks because we had to change out a set and I wanted to spray some UV coating and some lacquer on them before I reinstalled them to make sure that they were as weatherproof as possible. And she's just not the same without the horns. She's not Dita unless she's got the horns. We hope you enjoyed getting to tour Dita, see what it's like to live in our Class C RV. And let us know in the comments below what you like most about our new RV. We'd love to hear what your favorite part is or what you'd change about her. And don't forget to enter for your chance to win the custom Mercedes Sprinter van with Omaze using the link in the video description below. We'll see you next time. You mess with the girl, you'll get the horns. Moving down the pasture side, you'll see a fridge. Awesome fake flower thing, which... <laughs> oh, the princess pee. Are you filming? Yep. Oh.